Hello everybody, I am Miss McCarthy and you are here because you want to learn how to pass the math FSA. So today we're going to be working on this standard, maths.4.g.1.3. It's the last standard in the books for us. Lesson 28 lines of symmetry. I'm going to present five examples to you. If you would like to follow along with me and have the same exact problems in front of you, click the link in the description box below that will take you to the complete guide to passing the math FSA fourth grade edition. And you will have access to these problems. Just find the standard. You'll have access to these problems and the let me teach you portion. Plus you'll have practice makes improvement level one and practice makes improvement level two. That means you'll have 10 additional practice problems to help you just Oh, nail this standard and be ready to go, along with all the other standards that we've covered so far in these video tutorials. So um, let me teach you, let me go ahead and teach you, but before we get to example one, let me introduce the concept of lines of symmetry. So just to make sure we're clear, when you are drawing a line of symmetry, you're pretending like the line is a mirror and what you see on this side, if you were to fold it, they would line up the same way. So this right here would be symmetric. Now it's my drawing, so it's not perfect, but just use your imagination, it is symmetric. A lot of kids would think that something like this would be symmetric too, but it's not because look, this thicker part, if the thicker part is over here, on the other side, the thicker part needs to be there, but it's not, it's down here. The thin part is here and the thin part is there. So if we were to fold it, the thin would match with the thick, and the thick would match with the thin at the bottom. So that is not a symmetric line, a line of symmetry. All right, so let's move to example one. Draw all possible lines of symmetry for the figure below. This is a graphic response item display. That means you're interacting with the graphics that you see. So right here, I see that if I were to go down the middle, straight down the middle and I were to fold it, this side would match this side. Okay, now also, if you take it and turn it here, you'll notice you have the same thing. Okay, and then one final time, take it and turn it. So this item has three lines of symmetry. Moving on to example two, this is a matching, mat, matching, a matching item unit, a matching item type of response for a question. Match each shape with the correct number of lines of symmetry. So here we have what looks like a moon, kind of upside down or a smiley face, um, and we could cut that going one time down the middle. I could not go across because then I would have horns on one side and the loop on the other that would not be symmetrical. So there is one line of symmetry. For the pentagon, because I know it's a pentagon because it has five sides, I could go one, I could go two, three, four, five. It has five lines, so I'm gonna mark over here at the two or more lines of symmetry. And then here, let me show you a lot of people would pick more than one line of symmetry here, but let me show you. Okay, it kind of looks like that, all right? If I were to draw a line going down the middle, on this side, I've got a curvy up. So on this side, I need to have a curvy up too, but I don't, I have a curvy down. Okay, if I were to fold them, they wouldn't line up right here. I've got a curvy up here, I've got a curvy down. So they are not symmetrical. If I were to go across, same thing. On this side, curvy up. On this side, I need like this, okay? So that is not symmetric. So this would have no lines of symmetry. Moving right along to example number three. How many lines of symmetry does the following figure have? This is the letter B, and no, we are not in kindergarten. I'm not here to teach you your letters, but I am here to teach you about lines of symmetry. So I could not go down the middle with my line because then I would have a straight line on one side and then my curvy bumps on the other side. But I could go straight across. If I did that, I would have my hump here 
my hump here, my straight line here, my straight line here. Everything, if I folded it, would match up perfectly. So this figure has only one line of symmetry. Example four, this is a multiple choice item. Which figure has a line of symmetry? Let's check it out. Here with the D, I see that I could make a line of symmetry going straight across, so that does, because if I folded them, it would fold perfectly. With the A, there is nowhere that I can make where it would be symmetric on both sides, so it's not A. Here, if I made a line going down, you can see that this line heads out further than this line, so that would not be symmetric. And here, there's nowhere that I can do it. If I make a line here, I've got the arrow on one side and the line on the other. If I do it here, I've got the arrow on one side, the line on the other. It just is not going to work out. So my correct answer is A, which is the letter D. This is our last example. I'm kind of sad. I think I might cry. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but it's been fun. So let's get this one off. Let's, let's end it with a bang. Select all the figures that have at least one line of symmetry. So we're probably going to have more than one correct answer because it says select all. We need to make sure we choose all the correct answers in order to get that point. And it could have more than one line. So we're looking for at least one, but it could be more than one. So let's test it out with the Q. If I make a line going down, I've got the line on this side and no line on the other side. If I go... Actually, I was going to say that we couldn't, but if we go right here like that, then you've got the line on one side with the hump and then the line on this side with the hump. So this would work, which is different than what I put in the answer key. Huh, I learned something today. All right, so that would work. S. If I go down, then I've got a hump matching up with the little part of the S over here, so that's not right. Y, I can go straight down, and I've got the same stuff going on on each side, so C is an answer. X, I can go down, I can go this way, I can go this way, I can go this way. It works, has multiple lines of symmetry. And W, W, if I go straight down here, I'll get, this, get two V's on each side, so A, C, D, and E. Oh my goodness, I, my mind is blown with that Q, but see, you learn something every day. All right, fourth graders, fourth grade teachers, parents of fourth graders, tutors of fourth graders, it has been super awesome working alongside you. Um, I hope that this resource has come in handy for you and it's been really my pleasure, my honor to help you. Um, to help you sharpen up those skills to get that level four, level five on the math FSA. Um, I really would love to hear what your results are when you get back those scores, you know, like 10 years down the road, because that's the rate at which it takes to get scores back these days. But, oh, I went there. <laughs> Teachers, you know what I'm talking about. Parents, you know what I'm talking about. Students, you probably know what I'm talking about, too. Um, anyway, let's get back to business. So before I leave, let me give you one Last, motivational message. Success isn't about how much money you make. It's about the difference you make in people's lives. It's not about how much money you make. We talked about success in the last video, about how when you put in small efforts each day, that is how you become successful. Okay, but it's not all about money. Of course, having money just changes your world. It opens up opportunities for you. You know, it's, it, it's helpful. Money is helpful in today's society. However, I know super rich people who are absolutely miserable in their lives because that's not what it is. It's not all about it's not all about that. Just getting money just makes you look like a hot shot and a boaster, and that's not that's not cool. Okay? Of course I want you to make a lot of money. I want you but I want you to do it in a way that is making a difference in people's lives. That is what matters. That is why your teachers come to work every day prepping you because not to make money 
they want to make a difference in your life. They want to plug in a bunch of stuff that makes you the successful person that you're going to grow on to be. So remember that. Don't have money be the goal. Have making a difference be the goal. Okay? I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Continue to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And fifth grade will be coming out soon. I'm going to work really, really hard to get it out. But love y'all. Bye.